Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a snow effect using a particle system. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take a model of a snowflake which I made in a previous tutorial. I didn't give it a meaningful name, I should have, so I'm going to do that first of all. So I'm going to call the object a snowflake. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is move the snowflake uh, G to grab, and I'm going to move it up and out of the way. Then I'm going to add a plane, and I'm going to use the plane to be the emitter of the snowflakes. I'm going to scale this so S. Uh, X uh, 6 enter S for scale um, Y for Y direction to enter I'm going to move it up um, so G for grab I'll move it up in the Z direction 6 press enter so the snow is going to fall from here, so how do I do that? Um, with it selected, I go to particle systems, add a new particle system. Now I did a previous tutorial on making bouncing balls using a particle system, so a lot of, there's a big overlap with that tutorial. You might want to check that one out. Okay this is the critical part down here here's the particle system properties scroll down till you come to the render click on object and select the object snowflake and at that point if I press play we should get snow okay about it but uh, what are the important parameters to change well, um, I said before in the previous tutorial, the size is quite important. Now, uh, it was a very big model of a snowflake, so the snowflakes are big. Uh, I found a value of about half the default, so 0 0.02 gave a nice size snowflake. Um, the obviously you're going to vary the amount of uh, snowflakes when they're going to start emitting, when they're going to end emitting if you want your snowflakes to last f forever, I just added a naught here, or last for the time of the animation so from um, 50 I put that to 500 and then they don't disappear. Um, there is velocity here. Uh, when I rendered it the snowflakes fell a bit too fast really because they're very light and airy. They float a bit. The best way to get that effect I found was not to change the velocity but the dampening. The damp here uh, this really slows everything down and also stops the snowflakes from bouncing off things so I put that to point 0.2 and that slowed down the uh, snowflakes by sort of gentle now this is a ping, I don't know if uh, my value of 500 went in oh, it did. anyway that's those are the parameters that I have found made the most effect uh, I made a little um, animation where they were falling onto an object. Uh, I wanted the snow to settle on the object. I'm going to add the object now. I'm going to use append uh, and find my object. Going to Blender and text. Now I made a Merry Christmas, which I turned into. Uh, a uh, 
mesh. Now, when you append, you have to find your model and then go into object, and there's the mesh. If I pen that, that brings that in. Now, at the moment, the snow will go straight through the object. You have to add a collision. So, you have to select object, pause that, select my uh, mesh, and you have to add a collision, and the snow then, it won't go straight through the object. Some of the snow is going in front of it, but uh, other snow should hit it. Now, to make uh, the snow stick on top of the object uh, wasn't I, there's a stickiness there I don't think that made much effect uh, I think more effect came by selecting the particle system and altering the parameters there um, I think I did put stickiness up but you'll have to experiment with the the different factors okay um, the file that I made with all the parameters set I will put up on my site freemovies.co.uk uh, the blender channel there a um, bit uh, of a quick tutorial on snow uh, thanks for listening bye now